Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Super Mario Galaxy. And today we're starting the Toy Time Galaxy. This is Heavy Metal Mecha Bowser. And yeah, you really can't get hurt by the train. They'll just be pushed alongside it. But in all seriousness, this isn't really a galaxy that's too hard. I'll tell you that much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's these Mecha Koopas. Robots panicking for no reason. Yeah, that thing just serves no purpose. Just a big gaping hole full of star bits. Yeah. Yeah, if you know what to do, the game, this galaxy is pretty easy. Yeah, I keep thinking, why did I, why did I go there? So, recently I've hit 10,000 views and I'm pretty happy about it. And I really like the star bit designs in this galaxy. Yeah, it makes it look like the colored pencils over there drew that. And when this game first came out in 2007, I was 5 years old. Yeah, and I am now 13 years old. Mm -hmm. I feel old. And I wanted to say, most of my peers in preschool at the time, this is what their bedroom looked like. Every kid I knew had a bedroom like this. I didn't. Mine, re mine really hasn't changed. Yeah, just like a furniture difference. But anyways, you just gotta hop along. Yeah, you can do this section without this. There's like one section that you can do without the spring mushroom. There's like one level that you can do without it. There's an 8-bit Mario. Yep. Classic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, two minutes in. Yeah. A lot of these levels are really long. I just wanted to let you know on that. And this is a Mecha Bowser and Yeah. So, mm -hmm. it's not that hard if you know what to do, like I said earlier. You just gotta shake to put the screws in. And that robot doesn't really look like Bowser that much. It's like, why color him blue? Why couldn't they make him like the yellowish color he usually is? Yeah, this is great destroying the robot. I don't see how this is relevant. Yeah, I just unscrewed a screw. Out we go! Yeah, those coins. It isn't the room you're supposed to go into. Those holes have no purpose. Go up there, Mari. Ow, ow! Ooh! Hot, 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 hot. Mm-hmm. After this, I'm gonna go have lunch. Yeah, it's May 2nd, 11.43 a.m. It's around lunchtime. There's a bat chasing me. Out of my way! Whee! Tag of the arm. This. You can do this without the spring mushroom, but it is a little hard. I know there's one level here where you don't need the spring mushroom. Yeah, I just wanted to say in this episode, when I recorded this last night, it was Friday, May 1st. Yeah, I kind of had the Let's Play curse was on me. In case you don't know what that is, it's no matter how many times you finally you practice a video game. Mm. This moment you hit record, you play horribly, and then kaboom, the robot explodes. And the robots are just, yay! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exploding things, yeah. And the robots are like, yay! So now this is Mario meets Mario. Yeah, this is cool level. 
fact, the purple coin level, which we will get to later in the game, far, far later. Yeah, it'll be kind of based off of this. So, at this planet, you need the five-star shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always wondered, what kid has an electric spitting robot in their bedroom? Yeah, there's a hungry Luma on this planet, but we're not going to get to her until later. <laughs> yeah, there she is. She needs 50 star bits, but we're not going to get to her just yet. Jump. <laughs> We're screwing in the screwdriver. Yeah, the irony. The irony. And so, yeah, it's conveniently placed, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And then, it's the Ape at Mario Planet. You have to collect five silver stars. Yeah, and this level was remade in Super Mario Galaxy 2, but instead all the little yellow tiles were replaced with switch panels, and you had to fill up all of them. The green tiles were all the same. The other side is the Luigi side. Yeah, on the Luigi side of this game, it's Luigi meets Mario. Yeah, so, just conveniently place right near the star location, which is that little box over there. If I could point to it, I would be pointing to it right now, but nah, you can't see me. You can only hear my voice. Come on, Mario. You gotta save some of these panels. <laughs> It'd be pretty nerve-wracking if you were stuck on that planet. So we're gonna do Mario meets Mario. And so, you have to go to this Hungry Luma, give him 50 star bits. Yeah, you have to practically get everyone you see. While you're blasting off. Yeah. A new planet was born. Then, Wee! Wee! There are switch panels here. Yeah, the prankster comet here is a fast foe. The only two fast foes in the game. Yeah, it's kinda dumb. And then the telephone's ringing. Okay. Yeah, so sorry, that was just the telephone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of the pounding thing of the guy right there. Yeah, it's like making my audio track look fancy. Mm-hmm. So... Pound. Yeah. Pound. Yeah, I just have to watch the audio flying. Yeah, I forgot to move out the audio before I recorded the commentary. Yeah, but just the sound on my computer is just muted. Currently. Okay, so, yeah, I only was able to fit in four stars. Yeah, it kind of stinks. <sighs> Whoops, do I miss? <laughs> mm hmm We have one more star after this, so I'm just going to edit it out. Yeah, I went the wrong way. Yeah, I had a bunch of fails.
and just clip after clip. Just, yeah, just editing out the fails. It was pretty easy. Bouncing down cake lane. Train ride. Choo choo. Whee! And on the spoon, the new delicacy is served. What is it? Sweet, yummy star bits. <laughs> star bits are said to taste like honey. Yeah, according to Rosalina's storybook. Yeah, it took me a bunch of tries to get up there. Yeah, you need the spring mushroom there. Yes. Yes, so many star bits. Well, bye. Whee! A soft landing. I always wondered what that orange cake tasted like. Don't try to jump over that white chocolate bar. Yeah. During this level, I was like a cat. <laughs> yeah, I kept avoiding the pits. Just one after another. Well, yeah, like right there. Um, so I was on the edge of the hole. I'm lucky I survived. Mm hmm. So then, we. Then, a nice cream cone. I never seen an ice cream that large. It's either we're really small, or the ice cream is just really large. Yeah, messy rooms. He has this kid. He or she has ice cream everywhere. Yeah, I did a YOLO jump right here. So I finally got over there. This part is nerve wracking if you don't know how. Yeah, but this isn't the messiest bedroom I've seen. You know the, those constant commercials for goldfish crackers? Yeah, and they like to hang out under that bed. That kid's bed. Well, that kid's, under that kid's bed, that is the messiest place I've seen. You treat it like a burial ground. Yeah, and like goldfish.com, they have a bunch of flash games there. Yeah, and one of them is where you have to launch yourself under the bed. And we'll leave me. Yeah, some of this, while you're launching yourself in the game, there's a bunch of stuff he has, like, oh yeah, how did sugar donuts, a gigantic teddy bear, just everything. Foot deep piles of laundry. The laundry is 18 inches deep. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, what kind of messy slug sleeps on this bed? Look, I try to be neat. Yeah. Mm hmm Then after this, we're not done. The law just drags on. Wee! Wee! We have to fight a boss, but the boss isn't that bad. Hmm, yeah, quite the collection of star bits. It's another one of these guys. Yeah. I just accidentally picked up two coins. Try to only pick up one. It's best if you get the um, six to the house mushroom. Yeah, the boss is easy ones can finally get up to. No, 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 no. No. I got it back and one. No, Mario. Two. And then. Three. Kaboom! Night too early. Then. Kaboom! So that's it for this episode, and I just wanted to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.